Mount Zion Fimo Union Band Cemetery. It is a gateway to experiencing the rich and vivid history of African Americans. I believe that it is the responsibility of the youth like me to bring our history to prominence and preserve it. If we do not take the responsibility to, to uphold our legacy, then we will have nothing in the future to build upon. A reality that deeply strikes me is that so many important facts about the history of African Americans in Georgetown have been left in the sidelines of mainstream history. We have to act as dedicated researchers to uncover the information. This past summer, as lead research investigator, I have gone through a mind-awakening experience. In order to accomplish my task as a lead research investigator, a plan had to be developed for our teams to conduct archival research. As a result, I divided the high school researchers into five groups so that each group could collectively place their information together to form a mosaic of history. Each group uncovered vital information on the Mount Zion Female Union Band Cemetery and the community of surroundings.
His father was born in 1864. He's 50 years old when he had him, and uh, he he was also uh, um, uh, he owned an ice shop here in Georgetown. Uh, little Billy Goats used to uh, he used to have a cart that was carried around by a Billy Goat, and he'd go and deliver ice to people and things like that. And uh, his wife, my great grandmother, Oberita Lyles Butler, uh, she was born in 1883. The thing that interests me so much is her father was a Civil War soldier. He was in uh, I Company for the uh, Colored Troops. And I believe he's buried here, and that's why I'm here. I'm almost just as much a researcher as you all are. 